Look at this. Fly up, fly back. We're looking down. Hey everybody, it's Cliff. So I'm doing a lot of Unreal Engine work and I'm setting up the VCAM here with the remote server. So it allows you to do an iPad, iPad 12.9 right here. And I can uh, run a virtual production, a virtual set here. So we have this scene here. And uh, basically, you want to go into your plugins and you want to go to first augmented reality and make sure AR kit is checked because it all works through Apple AR even though it's working on a PC. You want to come down to experimental here and experimental make sure remote session is connected. And you want to go down to here to virtual production and uh, you want to make sure the virtual camera beta version 1.0 is enabled. Uh, I would go here first and uh, uh, then when you do this it's going to ask you to restart the computer and then just make sure the others are there. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to go into the Windows command prompt. So you go into the CMD here in the command prompt, get that up, and then you do uh, IP config right here on the command line and that's going to bring up and then you want to see what your IP4 address is. So the IP4 address here that's on the PC is actually different than what's on the router. So and what's listed when you do a what's my IP address. So we have the IP address we have to type that in here and able to connect to the remote server. So next, the only other thing you really need to know, so you got to make sure you have all these settings or else you're going to have some problems. So when you go to play to run the thing, uh, let's see, we'll make this a little bigger here. There we go. When we hit this drop down on play, you have these different options. So what we want is we want new editor window PIE, and uh, that's going to do it. So what we do is we hit play here, and that's going to play the game, see? And then we hit connect here, that brings up the VCAM, the virtual camera. So I've done all the Unreal Engine trainings, which were at the former Sony headquarters building in Culver City from September to December. There was about 15 classes, VCAM, we did the... Xen's uh, mocap suit and I learned all the different Unreal projects and all the Unreal features. So I have a great foundation in Unreal Engine now. But then and this year it's exciting because even though everyone's at home they're actually doing beta training so uh, I was one of the people that did all the classes last fall so they're allowing me to do this special beta training where they're having private Zoom classes. So between February of 2020 and going up through to May of 2020, the next whole month, I'm uh, going through about 20 different and Unreal Engine video gaming and sequencing classes, animation, and uh, how to make video games and animation lighting the blueprints, C++, and everything. But this excites me so much because you can use this C as a virtual camera and you can line up shots and with different cameras. So it allows you to do things kind of a lot quicker than if you were uh, doing it right on the computer. And so I really love this virtual camera. Now they do have this for the iPhone also here. Uh, but the problem is that it's too small, so uh, a little too small to have all the different features in there to be able to push all the buttons. So that's about it, and this is the, the Unreal Remote, the U-Remote 2. So you get that off the Apple App Store, 
I really wish they would set this up. They should someday they're going to have this working with the Android because I mean the Unreal is PC based, but you need to have AR kit in order to run this VCam, basically. But I really love it. So I can line up shots, I can focus shots, and then I can go around. There's also a lot of different tracking right here. And then you can do the take record, see? So when I get this shot, I'm over here. And there's the guys right there. I can come in on him or go over. And it actually has a stabilizer. So I can stabilize the shots to different degrees. So really what this is is just projecting the image, but also the controllers. It's a very exciting thing to be able to do this right here. So you can start out shot like that. So as I've shown you, I've set the whole virtual production up here. Uh, it hasn't fully rendered all the textures, but that's okay. There's a, there's a couple things I want to mention. One is right here, you have the analog joysticks. That's very important. So it's a down arrow here, which will turn on and turn off the virtual joysticks, which will turn on the analog joysticks. So what you do is when you go to play here on the scene, you have a drop down before you play. Make sure you hit this one, which is mobile preview es 31 Pi, because this one will play the level in a mobile device preview. And so you want this because this allows you to have the analog joystick so you can move around the cine camera. Before I've tried the uh, new editor window P, so you have to be in the mobile mode, not in the Windows mode, the new editor PIE, because the mobile preview is going to cast the virtual camera here on the iPad and allow you to have these controls here. So just to show you, when I do the play here, and I play, the virtual camera is coming up right now, as you can see, and it's connecting, takes a second, goes through the Wi-Fi, and here it is. So it does take a second to launch. Uh, the shader's compiling, and so you have to do a setting where you uh, have the shader basically uh, on a lower resolution for the iPad Pro. So right now it's on a very high resolution, so the shader's compiling, and it's compiling most everything, as you can see, but it's not compiling the floor and a couple things. But the most important thing, because you might get confused, is you have these drop downs here. So you have to hit that in order to get the joysticks, which are the analog control sticks. This is where it makes things really cool. So this is what turns the movie making and filmmaking cinematography into kind of a game with the joysticks. Now there are ways that I can actually uh, get gaming controllers and put them on the side of the iPad and then I would have joysticks or I could actually affix a certain kind of a joystick to this but actually it's real nice just the way it is so just to show you how, how it works is you basically uh, line up the shot you want and with the joystick you can go left or right or up or down and then you can actually move and line up the shot. And then there are waypoints. So let's say the shot you want is behind this right here. Then you can actually hit the waypoint, turn around, and then you can lock the shot into a different angle. But just using this joystick alone is really incredible because look at this. So you can do these shots that it will be unattainable in uh, normal filming. And, and it'd be hard to line up these kind of shots, like here's this fly down. It would uh, be hard to get these kind of shots 
just doing this in the sequencer, basically. And then there are also pre-programmed shots where you can do a dolly and truck and uh, fly through and all that. So see, we're going to push forward. We're going to push forward here. And we're going to drop down, as you can see. See, so I'm pushing forward, dropping down. I'm using the joystick right here, you see. So we're going to come up. It's very fast once it's, it renders well. So look at this. This is very high resolution here. <laughs> so look at this. This is just, it's really beautiful. Look at that. So I can line up this shot right here. You press the record button there, and you can just take the shot. It's the take. So here, I mean, look at this resolution. It's amazing right here. So you can come up. Something like this tree is just outstanding. So look at this tree here. So look at this. So look at this tree right here. So you can fly up, fly back. Here I'm using the joystick. Look at this. Fly up, fly back. We're looking down. Now I can fly down. Come forward here. Look at this shot. That's just incredible. So these are things you just can't really do uh, without a virtual camera. But look at this. So I'm holding the iPad here, and I'm going to come down. And then look at this resolution. Come in. And then you can focus, and you can... Set the focal point, and I mean, you can just do so much with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this scene, because this scene is really well done, and it's uh, all put together, and the uh, virtual camera is all working perfectly. So what I'm going to do, see, look at that. That's amazing right there. And then you can just go up. Uh, up into the clouds look at this it's amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to copy this project and then I'm going to uh, duplicate it and pull out all the assets it's very lightweight and I can add a scene in, add some characters and do all that stuff so this is really incredible. You really have to check out the uh, virtual camera with Unreal Engine. Come around. Go here. Come back. Then you stop the shot. That's it. So I want to show you a little more about virtual production and the VCAM, how to set up the VCAM here on the PC. And I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, send friends, leave a nice comment, smash that sub button and the uh, bell. And we'll see you next time.